Hi guys! So today I'm doing a makeup tutorial that's a little bit different than my previous ones and um, in this tutorial I specifically chose to use all drugstore and cruelty-free products because uh, it can be hard to find cruelty-free brands and good products at the drugstore so I thought this video would maybe help you out um, to give you some ideas for cruelty-free options at the drugstore and how to use them so um this is just like a nice fall back to school look, nothing too crazy, and like I said, it's using all drugstore and cruelty free brushes and makeup, so let's get started. So I'm starting off with my Physician's Formula Concealer Twins in Fair Slash Green or something like that, and I'm first using the Skin Tone side to conceal my under eye circles and darkness in that area, and then I'm just blending that in with my fingers. And then I'm going to take the green concealer on the other end and dot that on any areas of redness or, you know, red blemishes because green is across from red on the color wheel so it cancels it out. And then I'm going to go over those green areas with the skin tone side because obviously you don't want to look like you have green dots on your face. And I'm again blending that with my finger. And then I'm going to take a dense big brush and just buff in all the concealer all over my face. Make sure it's all blended in and no green showing. And then I'm taking a powder also by Physicians Formula and an Eco Tools Kabuki brush. And I'm first going to pat this on my face, just like kind of press it on with the Kabuki brush. And then I'm going to blend it in circular motions. And I find that patting and then blending helps you get a fuller coverage from a powder. And then I'm taking this e.l.f. blush in Mellow Mauve, which is a really pretty mauve color, obviously. And I'm just sweeping that along my cheekbones as a nice fall blush. Next, I'm priming my eyelids and obviously rubbing that in. And for the eyeshadows for this look, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. So first, I'm using this pinky golden shade and just applying that all over my eyelid with a flat shader brush. And then I'm going to be taking this golden brown shade with a blending brush and sweeping that onto the outer part of the eyelid and kind of extending it past the eyelid um, out to the side of the eye, as you can see. And then I'm taking a blending brush and just blending out the edges of that and making sure it looks all nice and soft. Next I'm taking this highlight shade which I love and highlighting my brow bone and inner corner with it. And then I'm taking this grayish brownish shade with a pencil brush and smudging that along my lower lash line because all the other shadows I've used so far were warm and this one's cool so it just adds some contrast to the look. Next I'm taking an e.l.f. cream liner in black and lining my upper lash line with it. And then I'm taking what's left over on my brush and just running it along the outer part of the lower waterline. Then this burgundy shadow, which is also from the comfort zone, I'm putting on an angled liner brush and just packing that over the um, black eyeliner. And you don't have to use the cream liner, but I find that it helps it um, like set the shadow better. And then I'm just curling my eyelashes and setting my brows with brow gel and I'm also using that brow gel as mascara because I don't have a drugstore mascara but I know that Wet n Wild and Physicians Formula both make good ones that are cruelty free so that is the finished eye look and then for the lips I'm just taking my Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm in Red Dahlia which is a great color for fall and applying that to my lips so that is the finished look I don't know why I said that with a weird accent so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and let me know what you thought in the comments and please subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!